welcome back to the divine healing with love channel i am nicole thank you for being here with me i am so blessed and grateful to have you here so i'm here today to talk about soulmates and this video so my videos when it pertains to healing and me teaching they're going to be 15 minutes or less click it and get it in 15 minutes or less because i know me if a video starts to be more than like 12 minutes i'm like eh. Can we end it? Okay. So anyway, so soulmates, soulmates, let's talk about it. I get so many questions about like, how many soulmates can you have? How many soulmates will you have in a lifetime? And I'm here to tell you, it's not just one, it's multiple people you can have a soulmate connection with. So with soulmates, as with anything, it really is levels to it. It really is. You have your different levels of soulmates. But before we get into that, I just want to talk about, again, soulmates and how that all works. So when it comes to a soulmate, a soulmate could be a family member. A soulmate can be a romantic partner. A soulmate could be one of your children or all of your children. A soulmate can be coworkers, neighbors. It just all depends. A soulmate is literally the person that you decided to have a contract with before you came into this lifetime. Before you came into this lifetime, and this may seem a little off track to some people, but just hear me out. Before you came into this lifetime, you decided to have a contract with certain individuals on this planet during this lifetime. This contract was basically a list of the lessons that you decided to learn with this person. So if you definitely follow the path of everything is meant to be, if you definitely subscribe to that, you will know that everyone that you meet in this lifetime was destined and meant to happen. And you should also look at it like, whoever I meet, what is this person teaching me? What can I learn from this person? What are the lessons that this person is presenting to me? Now, some people say, you know, Nicole, it's not that deep. It actually is that deep. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like, it actually is that deep. And literally, every person you meet can teach you a lesson that you need to learn. So with your soulmate, this is a person that you are vibrationally at the same, near the same level. One person may be in a higher vibe. One person may be a lower vibe. It just all depends. But sometimes you're vibrationally at similar levels. You decide to connect because now it's time to learn these lessons. Now, that doesn't mean that lessons can't come with fun. It doesn't mean that lessons can't come with pleasure. It doesn't mean the lessons can't come with, you know, letting go, letting it flow. It doesn't have to be so serious and stuffy all the time. I'm not saying that at all because many soulmates you will have a lot of fun with. It's a fun time. It's supposed to be fun, but you have to have that awareness and recognition that this person is going to present things to you that you need to heal within. And so with a soulmate, literally, a soulmate could be a dime a dozen. So, I mean, I don't want to just put it like that because, again, it's levels to it. It could be a karmic soulmate. It could be a high-level soulmate. It can be a, again, like a family member. And with your family member, you're not romantic with your family member. But you all have this connection where you feel within your soul that depth and that just like that love and that um, the pool. You have a pool with the person. For example, in my own life, one of my soulmates or well, two of my soulmates are my daughters. I have two daughters and they're definitely my soulmates for sure. You know, with my daughters, when they were born, I could just immediately, I looked in their eyes and I just knew them. Yes, they were growing in my stomach for nine months. Of course, I already knew them, but there was a recognition as, as soon as I looked in their eyes. You know, I just, I just knew them. They were a part of my soul family. And many people will say, 
you know, you have people in your soul family and you do. And again, it doesn't always have to be a romantic partner. We have been conditioned to believe that we only have one person. There's only one person that completes you. There's only one person you will ever have in your life to love you the way that you want to be loved and to give you everything you want to be given. No, that's not true. Actually, it is one person. The one person is you. The one person is you. You are the person that's supposed to give yourself everything you need, all of the love that you deserve, all of the kindness, the TLC, the tender love and care. You are supposed to be able to give yourself that love. So really, if you are looking for a person to complete you, the person is you, really and truthfully. And you are going to be the only one that can give yourself that deep love that you yearn for, desire within. Now, if you meet another person, if you are giving yourself that love and you meet another person who would be a soulmate, let's say this person is a high level soulmate. So high level soulmates, what I like to say, how I would explain a high level soulmate. A high level soulmate is someone who you probably have had many lifetimes with this person. You, There's an instant magnetism to this person you're just magnets like everything just clicks you may feel like this person you just have known them forever you may feel like you guys have so much in common similar paths similar desires similar goals everything is just clicking and it just flows it's just a beautiful flow to it. It's, you know, you decide to go to the movies, you just go to the movies. You decide to go to dinner, you just go to dinner. And it's just great. There are also lessons, but this is what I mean. It's about the fun, the pleasure, and the lessons. You can have both. Now, people ask me also about Twin Flames. I'm not gonna get too much into twin flames in this video. That's gonna be for another video. However, with twin flames, that's a whole different situation. Um, with your twin flame, you know, again, I'm not gonna get too deep into that in this video, but with these different levels, you know, twin flame, soulmate, high level soulmate, karmic soulmate. Let me talk about karmic soulmate for a second again. The karmic soulmate is usually a person that comes into your life that may be only in your life for a brief period of time. It may be very magnetic, just instant attraction, instant fun. Um, the sexual desires are very strong. And literally that person could be just in your life for like three months or six months. And it's up to you again to have that awareness and to know what lessons is this person presenting to me? What lessons, what are the triggers? You know, this person, maybe they ghosted you. What is this triggering inside? Instead of you going crazy like, oh, I'm about to blow this, D you know, blow his DM up. I'm about to go do this. I'm Let's dial it back. Why? How do you feel? It's not just about you being ghosted. We know that. It's deeper than that. Yes, of course, no one wants to be ghosted. I know. But let's peel back the layers and let's really look at what else is going on here. It could be this person is triggering an abandonment wound within. This person could be triggering a rejection wound, the fear of rejection, the fear of not being good enough. So again, it's all about awareness and understanding that these people that come into your life, it is all meant to be. And it's for you to continue to build, to become the best version you can become and to continue to keep you in alignment or get you in alignment so you can continue to become your best version and how everything will happen for your highest good. So I want you to know that if you do have a soulmate in your life right now, and the soulmate has been in your life, let's say for 10 years. That's beautiful. But I don't want you to hold on to the notion of 
you know, this person is always going to be this way in my life all the time. It's about, again, not being attached, too attached to these labels and, you know, this person is my soulmate, we're going to die together. That may be the case. I'm not saying that that's not the case. I don't know what's in your path and what you signed up for before you came here. But, you know, some people I've talked to my different clients and they're like, you know, I've been with this person for three years and now I just, I felt like we were so connected and now I don't feel that anymore. Well, it's up to you to have that awareness. Like, again, have I learned all the lessons? Is it time to let go? Because it doesn't mean that person has to be in your life for, in that way, let's say if it's, if it's romantic, they don't have to be romantic for the rest of your life. So enjoy the ride, enjoy the people in your life and the type of things that they are showing you, teaching you and what you can learn from these connections. That's what it's all about. And welcome, be open to new people coming into your life. Because again, like I told you, really soulmates are a dime a dozen. It's so many, but it's levels to it. And I'm going to make another video on the, again, going deeper with the levels of soulmates and a separate video on the twin flame as well. But I'm going to stop here. Thank you all for being here with me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I thank you so much. I'm sending you tons of love, light, peace. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.